Hey what's up my bros, Ferdy here, your favorite Greek YouTuber and today I'm bringing you a versus episode I'm putting against each other the PKP Petsenek and the M60 As you can see I'm starting off this gameplay with some epic Expo headshots on Marcus Monolith and I want to say that all these headshots were recording in a single game I think we were playing on Rush and we were talking we did pretty good now, the M60 and the PKP Petsenik, two very similar LMGs, both of them are high damage, 100 bullet magazine that can go up to 200 with the extended mags, awesome LMGs, both of them are great, 580 RPM for the M60 and 600 RPM for the PKP. Now the recoil, the M60 has a little bit of less recoil, vertical recoil, it doesn't really matter in my opinion, you can slap on a foregrip and flash a pressure and have uh, both good results in both weapons. Now you can go medium to long range on these guns and you can go close quarters uh, to medium range uh, with those guns again. My personal favorite is M60 with the holographing of flash a pressure and if i want to go long range maybe slap on a little bit of a higher uh, iron sight with a bipod and flash suppressor again there's no heavy barrel for b both of those weapons and uh, in long range you, if you if you know how to use the bipod and the enemy the, isn't aware of your existence you can actually snipe a guy pretty easily because the bipod like benefits the lmg's pretty pretty fucking extremely i don't know how to to say that and um, the good thing about both those weapons, uh, I know they have low RPM and high, very high recoil, but uh, if you combine, the, combine those two things, they're really manageable to shoot. And with 100 and 200 uh, bullets in the magazine, man, you can go, as you can see over here, guys, you can go in an extremely epic kill streak. Like, you can kill four, five, six guys in a row, you don't really have any, like, problem uh, running out of bullets. I know the, re the reload is a pain in the ass, and never reload uh, if you have less than uh, 30 bullets, yeah. If, I've, if as you can see over here, guys, I'm gonna go in an epic cluster with the PKP pets, and even though I like. Another thing that I want to add is... Even though you have 100 bullets, another good thing with the, those two LMGs is that they suppress the hell out of the enemy, so you can uh, slap on the suppress specialization, however you want to call it, and own those nubs. It's a very important thing, like, if you have an LMG, you have a lot of bullets, you want to suppress your enemy, that's that, like your, your objective. Suppressing the enemy is really important in the support class, so if you like feel like spraying a brain, they're really inaccurate, they have, if you slap on a foregrip, they have 1.8 bullets, per, which is pretty increased compared to the assault rifles that they have, uh, 1 and 0.7. So don't don't be afraid to spray and pray. Consume the recoil with your right thumbstick. For both of them are absolutely amazing. I really can't decide between them. I personally use the M60 because I want to go all uh, Rambo style on the ass, and it's, it's you can do it pretty effectively really controlled recoil and if you don't have a foregrip on it that really fucks up the bullets where you can actually snipe a guy if you like shoot single shots and you can pretty easily shoot single shots because of the low or lower pm and controllable recoil i know that the first bullet recoil is kind of a pain in the ass but uh if you like get used to it and start shooting in single shots uh, you can do pretty good I really don't think I have anything else to say about this uh, particular versus episode. M16 PKP man, like two, but both of them are absolutely great weapons. I can't really have any. Maybe the Petsenek might have a little, like a slight advantage over the M60 because of the higher RPM, but it has higher recoil too. Another thing that you need to know is that the foregrip on both weapons actually in decreases. Uh, the overall recoil, it decreases the vertical and the horizontal recoil too, which doesn't do it in any other uh, weapon, Does it doesn't only on the big LMGs. So that's the thing you need to know, you will lose a couple, uh, some points of uh, bullet spread from 1.5 you will go to 1.8, which is pretty shitty bullet spread in my opinion, but you will have a controlled recoil and along with the flash suppressor uh, the recoil is gonna be, you can like spray and pray. 
You cannot go long range with a flash suppressor and a foregrip though. Anyway, the gameplay is about to end guys, thank you for watching, remember to go in the description below and like the C7 uh, Brotherhood official page on Facebook, maybe subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it, thank you for watching, have a nice day, I'm out.